All right, well, we've all heard the love story about Kate and William and what's happened and, you know, all those specials are running on TV. And we know the details about the wedding, at least we think we do. But where can you find your own Prince Charming? That's what we want to know. So Christy Nightingale is here today. She's the owner of Premier Match, and she has some tips on how you can avoid all the frogs and get your own fairy tale <laughs> ending happily ever after. You, That's what we want to hear. to kiss all those frogs? <laughs> well, maybe a few a along few. the way. But with my tips, hopefully you'll avoid all that and go right to the prince. I like this. Are there royals around here? Well, there's American rich, you know, like the blue bloods, the old families, the old money. So, yes, I would believe that there's a few American princes. They may not have the title of baron, prince, or um, count, but, um, yeah, yeah, there's mm, several. They're actually there somewhere. I where remember growing up in the Philadelphia area, and that was where Grace Kelly lived. And, yes. of course, she became the Princess Prince, of Mon uh, Monaco, yeah, Monaco, and then her son, Prince Albert, all of them still were kind of attached to the Philadelphia area. So I, I was wondering if we had something like that going on in the D.C. area. Well, there's, there's a lot of old money. There's the DuPont family, whom I've worked mm. with some of the clients through mm -hmm. that family. There's um, other companies of, well, I can't really disclose their names, but, you know, really old names, similar to the Vanderbilts or the Rockefellers, but not those two particular families. So someone's watching and wondering, okay, that's all great, but where do I go to meet these gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> well, I always suggest start cultivating your taste for the arts. Start attending different balls and special charity events that they mix and mix and mingle with these uh, individuals. Um, there's so many balls going on this the next couple of weeks that the best place to go would be to. I looked online. There's a website called the Washington Scene. Mm -hmm. Just type that in on Google, and there's a whole calendar of all the top balls that are going to be coming up, like the Corcoran Ball. I don't know if you've ever gone to that. I have. Pretty swanky thing. So you've got to you've got to have like the mental. The mental, I was about to say ability, but <laughs> the mental readiness to know this is where I need to be and yes. I've got to be seen with these people to mingle. There, I mean, there, you have to put forth the effort and you have to come up with a game plan basically to start introducing yourselves to these social circles and, that's, and then also dress appropriately and start um, educating yourself in uh, Oh, different types of businesses and such, so that when you go up to these individuals, you can spark up a conversation. So you know what to say. This sounds yes. like a whole lot of work. It does. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> that's work, but maybe yeah, yeah. and nothing's going to come easy. I guess not. Prince Charming is going to just drop in your lap. Oh, okay, well. uh, <laughs> okay, let me go back to the charity events because I mean there are so many. Yes. How do we know which ones to, to choose? Well, I, I mean, are there like a top tier there where we should definitely hit? Well, the Corcoran Ball, which is going on this Friday. So if anybody is interested in that, that's happening. Uh, this Friday. The ball at the mall is also a really um, interesting ball to attend. I don't know if you've been that, but it's to raise money for the mall and for the uh, rehabilitation of the mall. That's on May 7th. And then um, the Washington National Opera Ball is also the same night. So put on your stilettos, your, you know, your hot little uh, Prada dress and go to two balls in the same night. But also, um, on that, that, that site, there are, they're all listed. Every month there's, there's very interesting um, events. But anything surrounding the opera, the uh, ballet, and such are important. The arts. Yes, okay, exactly. Good to know. Mingle in that scene. All right, now you mentioned the little hot little Prada dress. And, and uh, you know, when you want to dress appropriately to meet, you know, our equivalent of the royals, should you err on the side of maybe just simple elegance? Yes. Yes. Understated elegance. Stick with the classics. And um, I mean, what Kate Middleton is wearing, some of her fashions are, I would say, to the liking of this type that one should follow. So I would, yeah, I would highly recommend So we're talking nothing too risque, to something no. classic, something that, you know, covers everything. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, there's, it, for the, the thrifty, there are a couple of uh, wonderful um, consignment shops that are in town that one can find um, beautiful uh, outfits. I think that's a win this. all in one because you're getting something that looks great mm -hmm. and no one knows how much you paid for it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's a whole big benefit all in one, you know? Exactly. Absolutely. You don't have to wear the same thing to every event either. You get to have a, have change it up. But you could even like consign the one you just wore and exactly. then pick up another one. <laughs> I mean, you're right? you don't want Prince Charming seeing you in the same gown. <laughs> but you know, I also would like to mention that the uh, City Tavern Club uh -huh. and the Metropolitan Club, um, I contacted a few of my socialite clients and said, you know, are there young men that attend or are members of these clubs? And they said yes. And actually, it's, it's unfortunate, but several of the elder members have sort of passed on. Mm -hmm. So now there's a lot of openings. Um, in these clubs oh, for younger these memberships. Mm. So if someone's interested in possibly, um, 
uh, you know, applying to join those clubs, I would highly recommend that too. So, so do women and men come up to you? And I know you can't reveal client names unless you want to, of course. But <laughs> <laughs> but do they come up to you and they talk to you and they consult with you and they really are looking out for these kind of men? Like this is what Christy, I want you to kind of hook me up with. Yes. It yeah. happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is so interesting to me. And what do you say to them? Well, I mean, I have to be honest with them and say, you know, if, they're, if, if they would be an appropriate match to these types, then yes, I would say, okay, let's go for it. So have it you ever had to really them. let people down? Oh, absolutely. Like, but how do you say that? If someone, you know, they're, they're a paying customer, they want what they want, and they have this ideal of maybe, you know, this rich guy or whatever they're going for, and you know that that's not just going to happen. How do you put it to them lightly? Well, do we, you make them cry? <laughs> a few times. <laughs> really? A few times. But, you know, sometimes we have to get down to that level in order for there to be a change. So if they're really interested in meeting this type, they have to, um, you know, spruce up their look, change their, uh, their demeanor. Um, educate themselves in, in certain areas in order to, I guess, heighten their, you know, their, their characteristics for these types. So, so. total makeovers oh, are yeah. possible. Oh, they are. <laughs> if we've, they really done, want it, they can do it. We've, we've gone through so many makeovers, which is wonderful because at the end result is that many do get into relationships with, that they're happy. Huh. Now, are most people willing to do the makeover? Well, if they're going to join my service, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like this. You know, because you see the stuff that happens on TV, and you just kind of wonder sometimes if that's for TV, if that really happens in real life, and, and how pe if people welcome that help. Because a lot of people come into this and think, you know, I'm good enough, I want this, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. If somebody's willing to change, we'll work with them. But, I mean, there are some people that just aren't, and it, that's fine. We can't work with them then. I mean, they can go elsewhere, as far as I'm concerned. If you want to find your royal, this is it. <laughs> yeah. Christy yeah, yeah. Nightingale, thanks for being here. Thank you. A lot of fun. Okay, thanks. We'll be going yachting and out to the well, polo match. Well, that too, match the polo next. match is coming up too. <laughs> okay. That's another, that's another big one. Lots of stuff going on in D.C. Thank you, Christy. Good to see